So why don't we start by introducing the new band members? Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Emilio. Um, I'm Emilio. I play guitar um, in the band Shadow of Wales, and I'm loving it. Hey, I'm Blake. I also play guitar in Shadow of Wales, and Liar. I'm also loving it. Liar. I'm just kidding. I play drums, and I am loving yeah. it. <laughs> yep. You've been in New York for the Independent Music Awards. Yeah. You've been nominated twice, yep. and last night you won. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be celebrating that accomplishment right now? Oh, uh, it's just unreal. Uh, honestly, I've, oh, we're, me and JD were talking about it this morning. Um, it still hasn't really sunk in that we're like in this category now. Like we're we've our we are our award-winning musicians. It's like just crazy. It's insane. What about you? Me? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I, I definitely agree with that. Um, I feel like it's been a long time that we've been a band, and uh, you know, there's been like ups and downs, and like I, I feel like this definitely was uh, worth coming down here and really enjoyed the journey, and uh, looking forward to what comes next. So, besides your win. What has been your favorite moment of the trip? <laughs> um, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed our Airbnb experience. <laughs> oh, no. Primo stuff. No, yeah. <laughs> about that. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell that story later. Yeah. Um, uh, what has been our favorite moment? Uh, well, I can. If y'all want me to go first, we can just go down the line. Uh, my favorite moment of the trip, uh, outside of the awards ceremony, is definitely going up to Boston. Um, and, and getting to meet uh, the people at Mix 104.1, yeah, getting awesome. to play for their staff, and, and um, that was just such an awesome experience. It was really, it's been a while since I've been that nervous for a performance, um, and I was definitely very nervous playing for just like specifically radio people. Um, and it was so awesome to get to meet uh, Matt, the DJ over there, because um, he and I have been talking for a long time, so it was just awesome to be able to finally meet him and and uh, get to know him. So, how are you? Um, <clears throat> I've had several favorite moments from this trip so far. <laughs> um, I think the drive from Boston to New Jersey was really fun. We were all uh, just laughing, making videos, and jamming music. And uh, I don't know, it was just a, a really fun car ride, and I usually don't like long car rides, so... Uh, but other than that, yeah, like Jeremy said, Boston was, was really beautiful. We were all blown away how gorgeous the architecture and the buildings were there. Times Square was almost too much to take in. It was too much to take in. It was, yeah, it was crazy, but it was uh, definitely, we're going to remember it for forever. Uh, man, my favorite, I've had a lot of favorite moments. Um, I would say that... And if I had to pick, honestly, like Boston was fantastic. It's such a beautiful city, and I love the old architecture. Um, I would say also just, just you know, the, the little bits of time that we've had to kind of explore each individual city. Uh, for instance, yesterday I got to take Emilio. We had some downtime to St. John's Cathedral, which I got to perform in a few years ago, and it was really great, you know, going back. It's such a beautiful place, you know, and. Uh, just stuff like that, like the little things in between the big things have been kind of my favorite moments, you know. But. Um, I feel like my answer is less deep, but <laughs> <laughs> New York has had the best food I've had in my whole life. Seriously, every single place we went to was just quality. Um, on top of that, honestly, like, just the continuation of the journey with my brothers and, uh, I love these guys a lot, and it's been really awesome just spending time with them and, you know, experiencing this beautiful city with them, and, uh, yeah, to many more years. I would agree with all that. I, I think this trip has been freaking awesome. Uh, I would say that uh, getting to see all these new type of sceneries um, has been great. Um, even the one that we're watching right now as we're doing this interview is just Beautiful. awesome yeah. yeah 
Um, but uh, yeah, I would say that uh, every single thing that we've encountered has been really cool and uh, I don't know, <laughs> sorry I'm distracted right now. <laughs> it's yeah. the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah. yeah. It's cool though. I like it. So I think what I love most about Shadow of Wales is the positive message you share through like everything you do and that you recognize the power that music has to change lives. So how did your goal of spreading love and hope as far as sound can reach develop for you? How did it, like, how did it start? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I think that all of us to an extent have been affected that way by music. Um, it's just it, the roots of how effectively it empowers you and encourages you and inspires you to become a different person. Um, it's just such a powerful tool and it's hard to not want to just, once you've received that, give it to the world and in that same fashion. And yeah, we just, I, we just have such a love for people and, uh, and a heart for them. And getting to meet so many people from so many different walks of life who have been hurt in different ways and succeeded in different ways and, and all have different stories. Um, and knowing that our music has helped just move the needle for them a little bit further is just the most rewarding rewarding thing. I, I can't imagine wanting to do anything else. It's just been so fulfilling and, and to be able to do it with such amazing people and an amazing team. Um, I, I don't know if that answers the question, but it's just, it's a, it's an incessant need. I just have to do it. I can't not do it. Um, I don't know if anyone has a follow up to that. God, it's very well said. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, just to uh, echo what he was saying, you know, like, we've all personally experienced a lot of stuff in our life that was less than stellar, and it was music that got us through it, and I feel like if you have the ability to, you almost have, like, an obligation to try and just pass that on to somebody else, you know? I've had kids in Austin tell me, like, you know, you're the reason why I picked this up, or you inspired me to... Uh, continue pursuing that passion and that's overwhelming so I'm personally extremely grateful to be here and to have this platform uh, here in New York to be able to uh, to continue doing that yeah I definitely agree um, when I first started writing music um, and with these guys like I one of the main things that I wanted to do was leave an, an impact on people's lives I know it Growing up, listening to different artists, um, music was a big part of what got me out of a lot of things, and uh, I kind of wanted to bring that back up, but uh, kind of amplify that, um, but with this group and our project, and uh, just all we can hope for is just to kind of spread that message. Um, so, something I want to. I mean, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can speak uh, specifically to uh, Shadow of Wales because I haven't really contributed quite as much as uh, as these three guys. You but uh, time, man. but um, yeah, I mean, to echo what they said, I think it's extremely empowering to get reactions from people who have um, you know been influenced by uh, what you're doing. You know, so that's always really crazy and kind of mind blowing sometimes. But. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, uh, I've had I've had so many artists that have kind of changed the way that I think and do things and, and make music, and and to be that for for other people is really, 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 really crazy. Uh, and I think we can all agree on that. You know, it's just like a dream sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's all I'll say because uh, I haven't been with him that long. But uh, <laughs> but topically speaking, that's that's what I would 
have to say about that topically? Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, after, I don't know, being in a band with these guys for the past half year has just been so life-changing. Um, I don't know, I, I love to see people's reactions after we play shows and and just connect with people that we haven't met before or people that have come back to see us and just seeing people singing the words back and kind of like I don't know just really vibing with with us uh, kind of just makes it all worth it because we we can all feel the, the love and and we're giving it and we're receiving it it's just I think that's what it's what's all about in the end is just loving life and and your friends and your family and, and music so. So you have a, an amazing relationship with your fans. We try to. We try. We try. Yeah. We love it. What does that relationship mean for you? What does it mean? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, what doesn't it mean would be the easier question. It, it means everything to us. Um, uh, I, yeah, literally everything. I, I don't even know how I could express it more. They're, we're way too incredibly lucky to have the fan base that we have and it's it constantly blows us away how much support we get and how much love we get online and uh or or when fans mail us stuff or or bring us stuff at shows and i mean it's been it's been five six years of this and i'm still like what like really y'all are freaking amazing it's 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 awesome. Yeah. It's incredible. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 you're good. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know what more I can say. <laughs> so it's uh, everything, literally. Yeah, no, I mean, well said. Yeah. Um, this is going to seem tangential, but I'm going to loop it back, I promise. <laughs> uh, there's an idea in economics called the Tinkerbell effect, and that means, like, if you don't believe in something, then it doesn't exist. So a dollar is worth... Hey. <laughs> uh, you know, it's worth, you know, a Reese's peanut butter cup or, you know, a stick of gum, whatever, because we agree on that. Um, so that's the same thing for us. You know what I mean? Like we could not exist as a band without people agreeing and believing in us. Um, and honestly, this is all I've ever wanted since I was a kid uh, my whole life. So sincerely from the bottom of my heart, thank you. When we say we love you guys online, it's not just filler. It's not just, you know, I, I, I sent my tweet for the day. We mean it. Like, we want to remind you guys every day how much you mean to us. Um, and it blows us away that we can mean something to you. So thank you. Uh, it's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> no, I don't have anything to add to that, honestly. <laughs> awesome. Do you guys anything? Same. <laughs> Same. Are you working on any new music? We are. Yes. Oh, Actually, let's have Josh explain, okay. yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. So, this new project that we're working on uh, has been awesome. Uh, our two awesome new members have uh, been adding a lot of great things to this new record, and uh, really excited to, after this trip, get back into it. And I would say these are probably some of my favorite songs. Uh, Same and uh, really excited to bring kind of like a new sound. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's definitely, we're exploring a bigger territory and uh, kind of thinking outside the box a little more and uh, introducing a little more synth. Yes, Yeah. Uh, I love it. Uh, different guitar tones, um, Emilio's, you know, adding a, a new flavor to that. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys have to say about that? Um, Dude, honestly, same. These are some of my favorite songs we've ever made. Um, if you, it's all good. Listen to Shadow Boils. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna make you guys famous. It's gonna happen. I, no worries, it's all good. Um, it is Central Park. I was gonna say, if uh, if you guys, whoever's watching the viewer, are familiar with us and you like the things we do, I think you're gonna like this album. We've been working really hard. And it's a lot of the stuff we've been doing just amplified. Uh, I think we're definitely uh, 
coming into our own as artists and as a group and I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. Same. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm a strong advocate um, for, uh, I guess, self-confidence. Um, and I'm saying that because these new songs slap. I'm a, I'm a big fan, personally. Big fan. And I think, it's, I think I can say that more than these guys because I didn't, I kind of came on to it late, so I haven't had as much um, influence over it, so I kind of listened to it as an outsider first, instead of a creator. And I'm really, 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 really happy uh, to share it. Um, I think I think that there are going to be really exciting tracks, and uh, it definitely has kind of ignited a spark in me, and I've had conversations with them, but I think that they feel the same way. Um, also, I'm sorry, I have like no voice right now, <laughs> so... If you can't hear me, I'm so sorry. That's why we're using that thing. Yes. But you have added quite a bit, so yeah. Quite Honestly, yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hopefully, I've added good things. I think so. But time will tell. Or <laughs> keeping, <laughs> keeping you around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I. I. Man, I'm gonna. I don't. I don't. I feel like I don't normally do this in in interviews or or say this like super confidently, but. Uh, and I can't speak for like you know the rest of the world, but I know that for our existing fans, you guys are gonna really love what we're working on right now. Um, it is I and I, I guess I say this about I I do say this about every album. I feel like it's just like it's like what the last album was, but it's like next. It's the next level, you know. Um, but I really feel like there's a significant difference um, in a very good way. Uh, yeah, it's like a multiverse. Yeah. We're another dimension, really, uh, and we're gonna have a good time. Um, <laughs> uh, that's Star vs. Force of Evil. Anyways, it's fine. Um, it's a cartoon. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited about what we're working on. Um, I wish that we had more of an ETA on when it was gonna be finished, um, but that's definitely it's one of the first things that we're doing when we get back home is really nailing down okay yeah. like let's let's do this thing wild too, yeah a lot of songs that we're yeah working on. for sure sure you know, yeah like it's taking a while because there's we're working on a full-length album so we're right now we're working on 12 to 13 tracks at the moment more than that um uh and and so we're not really sure how it's all going to lay out but we are working on new music and i think that you guys are really going to love it same <laughs> Uh, is there anything else that you're looking forward to this year? Ooh. Christmas, yeah. Uh, it's that's it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be hard to top this trip this year. Um, but we are looking forward to uh, playing some more shows in August. We're looking forward to getting back home and and really finishing our uh, our writing our writing sessions and really diving into the recording process um, and hopefully before the year is over the post-production process um, and uh, yeah that's planning for next year yeah yeah, uh, yeah. We, we've recently made some more connections and friends here in New York and uh, some people from outside of New York um, so hopefully we get to come back uh, if not this year next year yeah. and, and maybe do like a, a East Coast tour yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, specifically, I think one of the things that we'll probably start doing when we get back outside of writing is, uh, and I know that it's, only, it's halfway through this year right now, but we'll probably start planning next year um, because you got to. Yeah. Um, Keep rolling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My birthday is next month. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, JD's birthday is next month. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, um, I've got to wait a whole year for my birthday because it just happened. So yeah. I have nothing to look forward yeah, to. Yeah. Blake's the birthday rest of the was year. the day that we flew out yes. into Boston. Happy birthday, Blake! Uh, yeah, go ahead. Everybody, say it. Real quick. 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy Wait, it's birthday. Oh, you don't have to sing oh, it. Right. It's oh. fine. <laughs> We're musicians. <laughs> um, that was a little rough. Uh, that was good. Um, that was not a good I <laughs> honestly, I'm just, I'm just personally excited to just start recording and start working on production. Like I said earlier, uh, new song slap, absolute straight fire. Um, <laughs> Super hot fire. So, Super hot. <laughs> so I'm really just excited to get them finished up and, and released because uh, I just wanted to share them, you know. They're dope. Yep. Dope. Yep. Um, but aside from that, yeah, we talked about like a micro mini tour. Yeah. Playing yeah. some shows. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Really just uh, continuing to work on music, whatever that looks like in the upcoming months. I got one more thing. All I want for my birthday is for you guys to share our band. <laughs> spread the hope, spread the love. You don't have to put that. Just smash that <laughs> like and subscribe. That. Smash <laughs> that like and subscribe, YouTube. No, I'm just joking, sorry. The links. <laughs> you don't have to put that in the article. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the Musical Notes Global community uh, and for letting us um, take up 20 minutes of your day. Uh, and, um, and it, honestly, I, I know that we were talking about our fans earlier, but I can't say it enough. Thank you guys so much. Um, just y'all are everything to us. Uh, y'all have made this happen. We won, we won the award by the judges, but we also won because we won the, the Vox Pop Fan Award because you guys went out and y'all voted for us more than any of the other bands in our category and that is not a small like feat these musicians from all over the world are competing for this award and and you guys made it happen for us we, we just received it so thank you guys so much um, y'all are just absolutely amazing and blown away every single day so thank you thank you thank you anything else you would like to say to the readers we love you so so much so, so, um, so, so much. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're so hoping you're looking SOW forward. Much. SOW, yes, <laughs> that is right. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and reading. <laughs> like Jeremy said, I, I'm out of words, I'm sorry. <laughs> words aren't coming Love out. you guys. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Just everything they said. I mean, the award is as much y'all's as it is ours. Like, it was, it was a team effort. Um, is that cheesy to say? Team effort? Between us and the uh, and the fans, the supporters, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's good. Okay, yeah. It's fine. I, like I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I, I didn't sleep last night. Same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> what good note to end on? <laughs> Hashtag same.